Okay, here is the third one. Let me put this in and see what happens here. Okay, it didn't move up with it. Let's see if this dropped down. Drop down. That's what you want. You want it to be easy. You want it to come up and go down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Okay. Now, remember, when you put this on, it's going to keep those pins from coming out and falling out. And this here moving up and down keeps it in place here. So it's sandwiched in between here and it can't come up like here. When I push this up, one of them happened to ride up like that. See how that happened? It came out. It won't come out because it's going to be jammed up against this part here. So you'll be fine there. what I want to tell you. With this modification, with this pin out or this clip out, what this clip used to do when the balls compressed to where they touched each other, it would only allow this part of the pulley or variator to go down only so far. Okay, only so far. But now with this out and the ball's not there to compress, it goes down even further. That's no problem because the belt that's in between is going to keep it at its proper level. So when you have the belt there, the belt is going to keep it where it belongs. Okay. Now here's what you have to be concerned with. When you go and put this back together, this is down and it, when it's all the way down make sure you see this you will see that this is partially up okay the seal is here. You don't want to cut this seal. When you have this clip in here and the balls are compressed together, it keeps this up to about that, that much. So therefore, you don't have to worry about cutting the seal when this is in there. But when it's out, that seal is out. So if you're going to use this, when you go to put the belt on, again, the belt is going to keep it up. When you go to put the belt on, you got to make sure that you don't cut this seal. So that when you lift it up, make sure it's up, then you can put the belt in, then you'll be okay. The only way this will come back out like that is if the belt broke. But if the belt broke, you won't move. So that's the only thing you have to be concerned with when you're using the method with the pins that are not compressed um, or the pins that are not the size of two balls put together. Uh, if you use it this way, you have to make sure that when you go to raise this up to put the belt underneath, you don't cut this seal. So just raise it up, make sure everything's okay. Once you got the belt in there, you'll be fine. Put this in. Put the uh, the bearing on. Put this. Put the nut on, and then you're ready to go. Once again, you gotta make this sure this moves up and down. Easy. It's 
like that. If, if you remember the, when I moved this up and down with this off, the pins come out. They can't come out because this part right here is stopping them from coming out. Oh, yeah. Yep. And you don't have to worry about the balls ever breaking inside here anymore. Okay, so once again, <clears throat> you saw what I did with the drill. Make sure this moves up and down easy. Okay, two, make sure that this is just a little below flush. If you have a pin, a dial, make sure it's, you cut it where it's a little below flush. So when you put this in and you screw the bolt down, it won't be cocked, uh, cocked to the right or left because it's binding up against here. Because this part here is going to be riding on this ridge here. Okay, so you need to have these pins below flush. Below. See if you can see that. <clears throat> Alright, so these pins here need to be just below this, this ridge. Just below the ridge. <clears throat> this must move up and down easy. If it doesn't move up and down easy when you put it in, you take your drill, put it in here, sandpaper it down. Sandpaper it down until you put it in there and it's moving up and down on its own weight. Once you get it to do that, then you can set this on top. And the final thing, make sure that you don't cut the seal. It may come out. Make sure you keep it in, put it up, and you can put the belt on. And the belt, the belt, is here. I think I showed you this to try again. Again, make sure this, make sure this part here, move up and down on its own weight. If it doesn't, and you know to take the drill, take the the uh, pin, and sand it down a bit until it can move up, and all three pins fall in its own way. Once again, make sure it's below. You set this on top. Once you put this on top, and you put the bearing, and you tighten it down with the nut, make sure that. seal is not cut. In fact, you should pull this up and then tighten the bolt down so it'll be even. And once again, the belt will keep this up. <clears throat>